I sort of strangely notice weird things. I do my morning walk and I think I've come across one of the most strange things that I've seen. I'm just trying to evaluate exactly what I've found. And it's sort of happening at the bottom of this telegraph pole. Uh, let me go in a bit closer so you can see what's going on. Warning. The warning on this video has been removed and this video is highly educational. Uh, there's lots of uh, critter activity here. Lots. And there's also what looks like... Well, initially I didn't know what it was until I went and put my finger in it. And all that white stuff there, it's actually wings. Um, wings of whatever these are. Looking up the pole a bit, they seem to be following each other around. Uh, there's more of the wings in that section there. Yeah, uh, maybe this is termites. I just had a lady walk by and I pulled her up and I showed her what was going on here. And the sun's going to come out for me, I hope. And it's one of these things that if I look across the grass and I move very slowly, you can see them moving in the grass. They're actually, they're all around this area where I'm kneeling. Uh, they're here as well. But it's what I saw at the bottom of the pole here uh, that caught my eye. And initially I didn't know what it was, so I, of course, went in closer to take a look. I'm just noticing the way, or apart from following each other, they're trying to dig into the wood there. Yes, maybe that's a clue to what we're dealing with. The one thing that surprised me is I can hear birds up on the tree, but why aren't they down here getting one of the greatest feasts that's available at the moment? Because surely that would present to birds uh, the most amazing Christmas feast. Because as I'm making this video, it's actually Boxing Day. And that's the day after Christmas. I'm not really up on entomology. It's a very complex subject. You have to study for many years and be very smart to get your head around it. Uh, but I am just watching here. And sometimes by watching things, uh, you can start to learn yourself about what's going on. I see lots of these little critters uh, trying to get into the timber. And I also see that's a constant just following each other. Although the, those two have just separated. Oh, well, one of them's going to be very lonely, isn't it? But no matter where I go here, I'll go to another spot here. I see lots of them following each other and that's a little bit spooky in my opinion. But the thing that really caught my eye and that's why I saw this, again, it's just the masses of wings here. Uh, just, I'd hate to think how many bugs have generated that many wings. It just goes on all the way around this pole. At this point of the video, I'm going to rely heavily on a fantastic pest control company website that I found. The company's called Above Board Building and Pest Inspections. They're based in Melbourne. Now, some people overseas say Melbourne like this. Melbourne. No, no, no. Think of the word Mel, then think of the word bun, and think of a lazy Aussie tongue and go Melbourne. Melbourne. Not Melbourne. Or Melbane. I've heard all variations, but it's Melbourne. The secret to speaking Australian is turn your brain off. So hopefully this is like a giant worldwide free ad for them. I've got no connection with this company, but they had the best graphics and I think the best explanation of termites in Australia. As you know, I'm not an entomologist. It's an extremely complex field of work studying insects and what they get up to. I was suspicious that this was termites, but I wasn't that cluey on what was going on because I'd never seen this style of activity before. If I throw up a chart from this company, it shows the life cycle of these termites. So we can see a circle of life there. They've got a lifespan of one to two years. The queen lives for 10 years. And what we're dealing with around this pole is what's called swarmers. And from the activity I saw on the pole, that is the wings have been detached and I'm seeing one following another, I can only assume it's a male following a female or vice versa. I'm sure the experts will explain it to me. And on the website, there's this great read about the things to look out for if you've got termite problems, and I'm going to read this bit here, a very important bit, discarded wings. Flying termites or swarmers lose their wings shortly after finding a mate. Uh-huh. If you see wings laying around, it may be the sign of the beginning of an infestation or the sign that a current infestation has reached maturity. Mmm, sounds pretty serious, doesn't it? So I remember when I was looking at these little termites on the pole doing peculiar things, I didn't have the luxury of looking at this website and becoming an instant expert. But is this telegraph pole a mature infestation where the swarmers are taking off to try and find somewhere else to live? Or have the swarmers come to this pole in a miraculous 
feet of nature. It's confusing because what I see here is lots of these termites moving away from the pole, but I also see lots of them trying to get back inside the pole as well. But it's the staggering number of those termite wings that first caught my eye and has me very confused to what's going on. Anyway, let's continue on with the video remembering I don't know what I'm looking at, but now I do. And again, thanks to Above Board Building and Pest Inspections based in Melbourne. I dare say they'll get people from the USA calling them up now. Hey, can we have a termite inspection? They had the best explanations and graphics to explain to me the real nasty activity that I'd stumbled upon. Another thing I'm noticing here, and I find this a bit freakish, is these critters, I'm going to call them termites. If I'm wrong, you can correct me. They're going out in like a straight line away from the pole. And if you look down on the grass here, and I'm going to follow out in a straight line. They seem to be either following each other or following a direction. Um, yeah, they, they seem to like following each other, but they seem to be going off in, in lines, going out well away from the pole. In fact, it goes all the way out to the, to the road. It's quite some distance. And what's really interesting out here is there are black ants, and I'm pretty sure they are the arch enemies of termites. And crikeys, I can see one in trouble there, in lots of trouble, in fact. It looks like the black ants are having a feast. I do enjoy watching this. I did take a fair bit of video of the black ants eating the white ants. And seeing this also confirmed in my mind what I'm dealing with here because I do know that the black ants are the arch enemy of those incredibly nasty, dangerous and destructive white ants. And the saying is, if you have lots of black ants around, you're not going to end up with the white ants, so please be friendly to those little black ants. They are your friends. It's been a very peculiar summer. Remember, I shot this on Boxing Day. It has been extremely dry. There's been lots of fires. Difficult to explain the scale of fire this fire season. What also is peculiar is there has been no brown Christmas beetles. Very few. Normally, there's stacks of them at the time of year when I'm shooting this. Cicada season where I live, my part of town was very, very lacklustre. And also, what I didn't see at all this summer, and I know where to look for them, I know where they nest, that's the mud dauber wasp. So it's been a very, very unusual summer. It's almost like Critter World has been on holidays, but it has been extremely dry. Maybe that has something to do with it. Or maybe you know why Critter World can sometimes go on these extended holidays. So yes, along the curbside here... It's one of nature's games. It's the black ants, and I'm saying these are termites. Crikey, Charlie's, it's vicious. How many times have I said, don't mess with ants? They are really, really awesome to watch. Again, I'm looking up at the top of that pole. I'm just looking at the condition it's in. A lot of the infrastructure in Australia is, well, rotten, uh, and that's being nice. I can see here, it looks like it's been under termite attack before. If I come down here, I can see bits of timber here that come off quite easily. Maybe digging down here a bit further will show me more pole damage. And I think, yeah, I think this area here has been eaten out by white ants. I'm sure there'll be people who know what they're looking at. When I do that, they can tell me what's been going on there. Another thing I'm noticing is if I knock on certain parts of the wood, it makes a different sound. So listen to this. Now that, that sounds fern there, when I come up here, it's sounding all hollow through here. Listen to this, listen to this. So there you go, another wondrous beauty of nature, highly destructive things termites, cause all sorts of damage, get into your home and make your home worthless, get into trees and make them fall over, get into wonderful infrastructure like this, that is a telegraph pole, and makes it structurally unsound. It's a thing that brings down your power, it brings down your internet, and hey, it's just another facet of Australia, but who can we blame? Can we blame the government? Nah, don't blame the government. Let's just blame those wondrous, beautiful termites. At least the black ants know how to deal with these guys. Thank goodness for them, hey? That's the poll number, so Osgood can come and replace this rotten pole. While I'm in the neighbourhood uh, where those termites were, and I'm pretty sure they're termites, uh, Jim Spider is just up here. Let's check out how Jim Spider's going. Oh, down at the gym. Oh, the spiders love hanging out at the gym in my suburb. And man, what I'm finding here, V 
very curious indeed. I believe this is a false widow, and I can sort of tell because it's got an egg sac that looks like a cotton ball, okay? Different to a redback spider one. Most people would see the spider and say it's a redback. Very similar looking, but this is a false widow. Hope I've got the name there right, and I would have pulled off some stills and things to explain what's going on there. Very interesting indeed. The other peculiar thing that's gone on this time of year, there's been very, very few Christmas beetles. And I can almost prove that by the fact there's very few beetles, and they're brown, the Christmas beetles, caught up in these webs. There's another big nest here. Okay, quite established, and it's one of these ones where <laughs> the more I dig here, the more I'm going to find. It's funny, I think I can see actually the wings from those termites in here as well. Oh yeah, okay, I'm starting to see the business down here. Let me go in closer. Down the bottom here is their protective cone that they build. And I really don't want to pull it apart that much, but I'm pretty sure you can see what's going on there. This is the pr protective zone. Look at that there, looking right into the redback's nest there. And there she is in there, and her egg sac, one that I can see, is there. I can also see a beautiful male redback spider there, fully matured, stunning. So that's the male there, I'm just, they're quite sprightly, and what I'll do is I'll close up her nest again, as if nothing ever happened, because we want to look after the girls down at the gym, don't we? So there you go, there's a Boxing Day gym spider update. How lovely. One week later, let's have another look at the termites at the telegraph pole. I've come back to the telegraph pole that had the termites, the ones that like to fly to new nests, and what I'm noticing now, it's quite interesting, there are black ants here. Hmm, very interesting. I'm just noticing, what's that there? Is that an ant? It certainly, well, it looks like an ant if it was a wasp, oh, I don't know. All this little critter stuff, it's so complex, well, the ants are quite interested in that. I uh, just probably better let it be. So I can still see some of the wings here. Um, I think all the little termites, the ones that flutter around, are all uh, basically inside here. But when I looked a bit further up here, and I look more closely at what's going on in this pole, that there is classic termite. Now if I just pull a bit more of this away, I'll show you why. But that's what's left over. Lots of termites have had their feed. Very good at turning timber all into rubbish like that. Seeing that sort of damage is actually quite common, but it's not often I saw those fluttery things with wings and I didn't know what I was looking at. I'm actually hearing a meowing sound up here. It's a cat. Let's see if it's friendly or not. It was making meowing sounds before as if it was hungry. Come on. Come on. I know how to make the right cat sounds to get near this, I hope. It hasn't got a tail. Sort of curious. I'm getting a little bit closer now. I think it's a boy cat going by its face. Just crouching down low so I'm not um, scaring it. Ow. Ow. It's gone down the driveway. It's keeping its distance. It's quite a nice looking cat. Let's get back on track and revisit the gym spiders two and a half weeks after the Boxing Day visit. Well, I'm adding a bit onto this video. It's now the 11th of January. I'm back down at the gym looking at the gym spiders. Let's take a look at that false widow's area there and see what's going on. i got a little stick here. Um, the spider's quite aware. Oh, very aware. And you can see it huddling there next to one of its egg sacs. It's got two now. Very interesting, isn't it? What's interesting here is the nest is very open. The redback spider would have all of its stuff hiding its nest. You can clearly see the egg sacs there. I think that's really incredible to see that solar spider hanging out where a redback spider is. And we'll go down and take a look at the redback spider nest, which is down here. Okay, a couple of big leaves here. I mean, to me, when I see debris like this in the web, uh, it's shouting redback spider to me. I'm just gonna pull these out and get rid of these, uh, just so we can clear the zone a bit. Just as I did that, a very small female uh, took the bolt there. So there's one of those on one of the leaves. Wow, she's a real go, isn't she? I'll get it back to the nest if I just scoot it that way. I'd hate to upset the balance of nature here. In fact, I'd say uh, the redback 
spider egg sack has opened up. There's little um, spiderlings everywhere. I'm just going to pull this down a bit and we can see if we can see the spider in that very defined nest that I saw back on bow. Oh, my crikey Charlies. Uh, there she is. She's come out of her nest there. Ooh, she's a stunner, isn't she? She's spectacular. She's very alive, very active. I'd like to get her back towards a nest. I don't want her crawling out towards me. Good, she's gone back into a nest. Um, yeah, I would say the egg sacs have opened up. I've just got to be a bit careful here because if she comes out bolting towards me, I don't want to be in her path because she'll be in uh, fang mode would be the best way to say it. And that's the... It seems a bit collapsed from last time I looked here because it was a very defined cone. Uh, but I can see lots of spiderific action going on here. Maybe when you look at the back of the video, you'll see other little spiders crawling around. But um, yeah, actually I can I can start to see more egg sacs in there. Let's take a closer look carefully. Okay, I won't disturb it for too long. There's actually two egg sacs there. I think the top one's the one which has opened up. Okay, she's hiding down right in the back of the corner of the step there. There's another egg sac there. I believe that one's yet to be opened up. And it might be very nice for me to put her home back uh, the way it was, hey? Because, as you know, I'm always going to respect the spiders down at the gym. And I think I've got her home looking just as it was. And to finish off the deal, I've got to put these back, don't I, hey? I'd hate to have her upset that I've destroyed her home. Okay, that's looking like it was before I came and wrecked it. As you often hear me say, Australia's not for everyone. Especially if you have a problem with spiders.